Okay. Um, good day. And for this video, I'm going to discuss about continuous compounding. In continuous compounding, it is assumed that cash payment occur once per year. But the compounding is continuous throughout the year. So, mas, mas dako, mas dako siya mayroon. I-compare niyo mo sa uh, compounded daily. Kaya continuous mo. And this is the formula. F equal to P times E raised to Rn. You can derive the formula if you want. And uh, if you want to solve for P, you can just divide E raised to Rn or simply multiply. But then the exponent is negative, like this one. Same sa discrete compounding. Now, when you solve for F, compound amount factor. And then this one, present worth factor. Yeah. Where P is principal or present worth, F, accumulated amount or future worth, R, the nominal rate of interest, and N, number of years. Oh, okay. Dili ni number of interest periods, number of years na niya. But you might get confused sa discrete compounding. Okay. N, N to number of interest periods na for continuous compounding number of years na nasa kahit once a year naman nasa once a year okay so to explain or to illustrate uh, let us solve this problem compare the accumulated amount after 10 years of 5,000 pesos invested at the rate of 10% per year compounded annually semi-annually Quarterly, monthly, and continuously. Ah, let's recall, this is the formula for discrete compounding or katong compound interest. And then, this is also uh, the formula for continuous compounding. And we are going to use this formula para sa well, ini na problem. So, letter A, annually. Annually is one interest period per year. So, ang I ni mo, it's simply R over 1 lang. Kaya ang I, yeah, kay, ang I is interest, uh, rate of interest per interest period. So, that's nominal rate divided by number of periods. But then, annually man. So, equal ra ang I of R. Kaya it is 1. 5,000. And 1 plus I and 10 years lang. Uh, 10 periods. Okay. Once a year. Uh, okay. So the accumulated amount is 12,968.71 pesos. For letter B, semi-annually, twice a year. So you are going to divide the nominal rate by 2. 10% over 2. And then you multiply the number of years by 2 also. Uh, two compounding periods per year, man. Like this one. And the accumulated amount is 13,266.49. So, expected na mas bigger siya sa letter A. So, the more number of compounding periods, the other bigger number of compounding periods, mas dako ang uh, future amount. No? Okay. May increase man lang po. Ang interest. Letter C. Quarterly. Uh, nominal rate divided by 4. Ang imong aya na. Okay. 4 quarters one per year. And then ang number of periods ni mo times 4 po sa number of years. Okay. 4 quarters per year man. So times 4. Again, mas bigger ang C as compared to B kay twice or man eh, kini four times a year. Letter D, monthly, 12 times a year. And this is F, mas bigger sa C. Right? 
Walang di expected na mas dako kay continue mo sliman. It's bigger than monthly and uh, and the others no quarterly, semi-annually and annually. This is the formula P times E raised to R times in and the value is 13,591.41. Ana alam, it's very simple. Another problem. A man loaned 2,000 pesos from the bank. The, how long would it take in years for the amount of the loan and the interest to equal 3,280 pesos if it was made at 8% compounded quarterly and compounded continuously? So, ang 3,280, mauna na siya ang accumulated amount or F, kay amount sa loan and interest mo na siya. So, if you draw the cash flow diagram, okay, let X be the number of years or pwede rin yung mag-glow sa what? cash flow diagram. Formula lang, F is equal to P, 1 plus I, for letter A, yeah, compounded quarterly man. I, I, R over M. Bali, 0 0.08 over 4. And then a number of periods. 4 times number of years. Yeah. Uh, divide ni mo in 2000 the race, uh, 3,280. You will get this one. O, ang 0 0.02 kay 0 0.08 over 4. That's 0 0.02 man. Plus 1. 1.02. Now, to solve for x, you can use your calcul calculator. Shift solve. But then, kung wala ka na ng calcul, manual na rin pag solve ane. Okay. We all know sa algebra na once ang, ang unknown is ang exponent, the solution is a uh, logarithm, using logarithm. So, what we will do is we get the ln of both sides. Okay, ln. Okay, this one. And as you can see, sa right side, ang exponent, nahin mo siya nga coefficient. There's a property in logarithms na ang exponent can be written as a uh, coefficient. Like ln of x raised to n. Pwede siya isulat as n times ln of x. Okay. Property na sa logarithm. So, ang exponent, pwede na ito isulat as coefficient. And to solve for x, i-divide ni mo na 4 ln 102 sa left side. So, that would be x is equal to ln of 1.64 divided by 4 ln 1.02. And the answer is 6.245. For letter B, Continuously, okay, F is equal to P times E raised to R times N. Okay, same lang. Divide 2,000 sa left side. And then get the ln of both sides. And we all know sa logarithms na ln E is equal to 1. So, to solve for x, divide dimana na ln 1.64 divided by 0 0.08. And the answer is 6.184 years. Okay, so that's it. I think it's not that difficult no? uh, for this topic. So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.